What's this? Sixteen? Yes, a sixteen-ton gross Bedford. For years, hauliers and others have been asking when Bedford would join the ranks of the heavy. And now they've done it. Done it in a big way in every sense of the word. Bedford and every man's truck at any man's price now satisfy the demands of the world with a new range of heavy. The most important commercial vehicle news for donkey's years. Europe's biggest truck producing plant and the world's biggest truck exporters are now building heavy vehicles at low initial cost, backed up by a well-proven service network. A new truck from the drawing board upwards, the KM is the outcome of thousands of hours of painstaking research and development. The engine, the same unit for all models, is a brand new six-cylinder in-line diesel of 466 cubic inches, nearly seven and three-quarter litres. Orthodox in general conception, it does of course feature dry seal end-to-end -end water flow, so eliminating coolant passages between the head and the block. Strength, power, torque, economy and longevity have been the criteria in its design. Today's engine for today's and tomorrow's loads. When its massive and beautifully engineered seven bearing counterbalance crankshaft is turning at 2,800 revs per minute, it's punching out 136 brake horsepower, and that's a net figure, mind you. All the latest resources of Vauxhall Motors research and manufacturing technology have been drawn upon to produce this new engine for the new Bedford KM range. A range which includes tippers and tractor units, besides three truck models of varying lengths. The designers have realised right from the start that if full advantage is to be taken of the recent Ministry of Transport increased maximum legal gross weights, the new KM truck must have an engine which is man enough for the job. An engine which not only produces a reserve of power under all working conditions, but which also continues to serve its operators with complete reliability and with the minimum of servicing. Backed up by the most modern and up-to-date test equipment, skilled engineers spent countless hours proving that the designers had done their job properly, that what was correct on the drawing board is equally correct on the test bench, that the new KM truck should be a willing, strong and reliable worker wherever, whenever and however it be put to work. The new double capacity high speed oil pump ensures that the lubricant circulates from the very instant that the engine first starts. This in itself is a big step towards long engine life. Hidden away in what outwardly is clearly a robust, practical and compact power unit are a veritable wealth of other features all aimed towards superior power dogged performance and unfailing reliability. For instance, big end bearings lined with copper lead or aluminium tin. A gear-driven timing crane to ensure a quiet and positive drive. The silicon alloy solid skirt pistons have a special tin-plated surface designed to carry adequate lubricant, especially important during the crucial early mileages of a new vehicle. Then again, yet another feature is the closed circuit crankcase ventilation system, which prevents an accumulation of chemical corrosives and reduces the formation of oil sludge. These and dozens of other features, few of them outwardly apparent, all go towards making this new Bedford engine a real winner in the all-important heavy market. Driven by twin V-belts, an AC alternator takes the place of a conventional dynamo. This not only is more compact and extremely reliable, but it also provides a useful charge rate to the battery, even when the engine is merely ticking over. But an engine, although often described as the heart of any motor vehicle, obviously cannot in itself be the whole answer. The strength of a chain is that of its weakest link, and Bedford technicians have made their metaphorical chain uniformly strong. For instance, the high capacity clutch has a diameter of 15 inches and is designed to cope with very high torque with smooth, judder-free operation and go on for tens of thousands of hard slogging miles. The gearbox is also new with five forward speeds and with synchromesh between the top four ratios. 
Incidentally, if necessary, the complete gearbox can be removed for servicing without having to detach the clutch housing. The chassis frame is no less sturdy than the engine clutch and gearbox. There's been no attempt to skimp because Bedford engineers know that their products have got to stand up to a rigorous life, often in appalling conditions. Hours and hours of computer programming have gone into this momentous effort by Bedford to claim its share in the world of heavy commercial vehicles. And their range covers three trucks, all 16 tons gross, for 16, 20, and 22 foot bodies, three tippers, 14, 15, and 16 tons gross, for seven, eight, and nine yards, and two tractors, both for 22 tons gross train weight. Whilst prototype vehicles were being put through their paces, engineers were subjecting detailed components to equally searching tests. The rear axle, built entirely by Bedford, is rated at 22,500 pounds and it has a spiral bevel 37 tooth crown wheel. Fully aware that the final drive of a heavily laden truck has to contend with prodigious stresses, Bedford technicians prove to themselves that the KM truck is more than able to withstand the cruelest tortures and with a wide variety of simulated working conditions, accurately calibrated instruments faithfully show each and every reading. Strength is not the only keynote. Emphasis is also placed on ease of service. The massive front axle, also Bedford built, with its 14,600 pounds capacity, has greasing points which require attention only every 24,000 miles. In all, the KM has a mere five lubrication points, and the drivers as well as the service crews are catered for. Comfort detracts from fatigue, and by reducing tiredness, the Bedford KM is a step towards greater road safety. The new adjustable hydraulically cushioned seat is standard on all KM models. Besides raised side shoulders to provide lateral support, the squab is designed to give full lumbar support. On smooth surfaces or rough, the cab layout, with its built-in heating and demisting systems, is bringing the truck drivers of today a luxury hitherto unknown to them. Another new feature giving improved protection and greater safety is the double front bumper, sturdy in design and rigidly mounted. And yet another safety measure is the strong rear bumper, optional on truck models, which cuts out the chance of a small car driving under the tailboard. Dual headlamps and new large multi-view mirrors will be a boon to long-distance drivers. Aided by leech-like road holding, the Bedford KM introduces into heavy commercial vehicles new and much higher standards of safety. Safety and robustness, which are further enhanced by deeper, wider, thicker and stronger chassis frames. All models are fully flitched front to rear and through the spring hangers. And what about the brakes? Not only is the handbrake power assisted, but without full operating air pressure, it can't be released. A further step indeed towards safety. But this is but one facet of a brand new braking system, a dual system, whereby one set operates the air brakes by piston and the other by diaphragm action. So if either should fail, and this is new in trucks, the other still provides full power braking to all wheels. The brake shoes are immense, offering a friction area with a considerable reserve safety factor. Both front and rear brakes are 15 and a half inches in diameter, and whereas the front brake linings are seven inches wide, those at the rear are eight inches, giving an unsurpassed total area of 909 square inches. Brake fade will become a thing of the past, and incidentally, no less than 10 studs secure each wheel. On the tractor units, the braking ratio between front and rear is controlled by load sensing, which ensures that the braking effort throughout the vehicle is directly related to the load conditions. This virtually eliminates the chance of jackknifing, most important on a 22-ton Arctic. Maneuverability is a rarely important asset for any large vehicle on congested roads, 
and Bedford are proud of the extremely tight turning circles of their new KM series. Apart from minimal rear overhang, which means that less space is needed for the additional sweep of the tail end, the generous lock gives the KM a turning circle which will be the envy of the owners of many other vehicles. The steering is power assisted, a standard feature throughout the range of KMs. No need for brute force and elbow grease. Instead, feather light steering with instantaneous response. The power equipment is built in as an integral part of this completely new steering system. A system which provides a smooth, positive action free from kickback and vibration. Heavy loads on uneven surfaces call for superb springs, and these the KM possesses. The rear hangers of the rear springs are of slipper pattern, the top leaf being free to slide. As the load builds up, the effective length of the spring is reduced, so increasing its stiffness. Day in, day out, for two years, in foul weather and fair, prototypes were tried out on all kinds of terrain. Only once, on Christmas Day, did the test drivers relax their rigorous journeys. Ever since 1931, when the first Bedford truck was put into service, the question on the lips of commercial vehicle owners has been, what about a heavy? Now, in 1966, with a vast range of smaller vehicles, offering a quarter of a million permutations of specification, Bedfords have provided the long-awaited answer. It's the KM. <laughs> 